the Union of Slavic Socialist Republics is back at it again. This time we will take over all of Paleto and not just a snippet. If you wanna know how it works then fuck you, watch this video right here where all the rules are outlined. I need a goddamn hook in my intro, you capitalist rot. We meet up with your boy Philip near the military base. I'm driving a Vetir while he uses his new GC Kanjali, as it's called in game, or the PL01, as it's called by the Giga Chats. He got some railgun attachment which I presume is good for practice but honestly not so good for aesthetics. I decided that making a convoy with our vehicles wouldn't be a cool idea but the trigger happy retard is mentally unequipped to do something as primitively basic as waiting for me. He also is addicted to having a wanted level apparently which is a pain in the ass for me because not only do I have to dodge his shots and mines but also the goddamn law enforcement so I don't bump into him and get a wanted level. I'm not very protected in this thing. Here's the proof. In the last episode of conquering the entire map I ran around in a track so like I am right now because some con destroyed my vetir. I thought it would also be a cool idea to get some uniform for the fight. Not like modern military special forces but like poorly paid Eastern European conscript style. And not even paid by the government it's a rebel cell. Here's the end result. Okay, now we are ready to cause some mayhem. I hop into the top turret while he drives around in a tank around Paletto. If you remember last time, when we fought on the open street, the casualty rate for the goddamn NPCs was indeed quite high. Now that we have a battle tank with a mo fucking railgun, I expect the casualties to be even higher today. Enjoy some of the combat footage captured by GoPro that was duct taped to a turret. Listen, I know we have a tank, but that doesn't mean we have a large budget. I get tired of not doing much on the verge of normal bullet firing turret so I switch to the grenade launcher. This is where the fun begins. The casualty rate for the NPCs is even higher than before now that I'm an effective fighting force. There's just so much enjoyment in watching law enforcement get shit on by a bunch of goptings with high Slavic equipment. Now enjoy the combat footage from this perspective. Eventually, I run out of ammunition and the tank has seen better days, but fortunately the casualty rate for the NPCs is unsustainably high and we didn't even die once yet. I propose my cool idea to do a last stand type thing at the church in Paletto. Philip gets out and dies so I temporarily am the tank commander now. I get out and we enter my insurgent. We start preparing our defensive position at the church but in order to do that we need to get the NPCs off our backs temporarily so I exit and expire. While I prepare the debil opens fire on the NPCs again cause he can't breathe without a wanted level apparently. Your boy calls in an avenger as air support. Not exactly my definition of a last stand but whatever. Once we are ready their battle begins.
I inevitably perish and decided to switch up the fight a little. I wanna get up and snipe down on the NPCs from the roof. I get into my comrade's Avenger and instead of letting me parachute down onto the roof, he decides to the best thing to do is fly into the ocean where the police helicopters get me. I swear this guy is fucking one digit IQ. I steal a police cruiser and go to Paletos since I can't rely on my comrade in arms for shit so I'll have to get on the roof myself. I fail and I'm trapped fighting the NPCs. I go into first person and I thought it was cool so enjoy. Comrade Philip returns in a sparrow, which I used to try and shoot onto the roof again. Or at least I would if we didn't have monkey brains. I eventually get to where I want to. But guess who fucked it all up? Now I gotta get up again. At least now we are back to so enjoy the montage of me being awesome because I can't kill boss with a sniper rifle. The turbo monkey dethroned me off my roof again. He lets me get in his helicopter and surprisingly I actually land while he crashes. However, I only manage to RPG two helicopters before I die. I respawn and notice my comrade is chilling on some tower. I think it's a cool idea and get in as well. The Urod logs off for the night and I'm left alone to hold the tower. The siege of the tower was actually kinda epic in my opinion. It was worthy of the defenses of Stalingrad, Westerplatte, Wizna, Leningrad, Rome in 1527 and Warsaw. However heroic the stand was, it was inevitable that I perish. And with that, the second battle of Paletto ends with losses higher than that of the previous episode. Here they are. 26 civilians, plus one I can confirm. From now on we will refer to these as missing in action. 164 normal cops, with two missing in action. 17 news and 9 helicopters. We lose 10 Gopniks aka Ivan, 6 Urots aka Philip. Yes, I counted it all. The numbers are probably higher since those are the numbers that I managed to confirm on only my screen. Those are the casualties of this day, so let's combine that with the previous battle for a total. 34 civilians with 1 missing in action, 244 normal cops with 9 missing in action, 107 news guys with 3 missing in actions and 11 helicopters. But Philip told me he took out 26 when the first vid came out. I don't know how he even remembers cause it was months before the video was uploaded and he got like fucking Alzheimer's or something. I also know the guy and you literally just can't trust him when he says something. Let's count these in as a gone unconfirmed. 15 Gopniks aka Ivan and 9 Urods aka Philip. The war only started. Although small right now, the Union of Slavic Socialist Republics shall prevail one day with our struggle against the NPCs. Remember my comrade, should you be interested in joining our cause, feel free to join our crew the social club. Now that we have Pelto under our control, we must call in our secret police whose equipment has been acquired in the last episode. Our grasp on the local population must be firm, for they might collaborate with the enemy forces. Expect a video on population control in the future. For now my comrades, I must disappear into the forest of Paletto, where our guerrilla war shall plan his next steps against the NPCs. Das Vidania.